Um, good morning, brothers and sisters of Christ, y'all. Um, the Lord gave me uh, two songs and a dream. And um, I'm going to tell you uh, things he ex um, revealing to me of how the enemy has been using um, his evil tactics against us to keep us our mindset bound. And uh, like to try to come against our faith. And um, you know when you disturb Satan mess with your trigger with your uh, mindset of your faith that you have in the Lord it'll it'll hinder you from a lot of things from your blessing what God promises you uh, have a faith in the Lord so the Lord just uh, giving me all kind of stuff this well this morning I've been up y'all and I just got through trying to get things in order um, he really talking to us about building our faith y'all and he used a dream and so he's showing me uh, tactics that the enemy used and how we was raising with documents and stuff. So it's a lot of stuff. So it's going to be a long video. <coughs> Expect the long video. But y'all know it's probably going to be many parts. So I'm just alerting y'all. But uh, we need this in these, in these days, y'all. Because God promised us a lot of stuff he told us back then. Um, some days ago, he opened up the windows of heaven, giving us blessings. And also about our promises and uh, your purpose in your life. And all these things. He releasing strongholds over people. Opening people's eyes to see. And... Uh, you know, got people out of Egypt and not to go back to Egypt with your mindset. So, he gave me this song. Um, and just know, this this one of the songs also, uh, knowing that Satan can't take nothing from you. Remember God told us this. Everything belongs to our Father in the kingdom. Everything belongs to the Father. So, Satan can't steal nothing from you because he wants you to feel like he can steal things from you, y'all. Because this is one of my dreams. And knowing God know our name, he know the hair on our head, he know, he know us, he created us. So he already know our, what we're going through, uh, what promises he made for each one of us, uh, what our purpose in our life. And knowing that can't nobody take it from us, y'all. Only we can hinder ourselves, not Satan. So I just want to let y'all know that. But God opening eyes so we can um, open our eyes so we can get all, uh, all our uh, promises and stuff that he has for us in our life before he come back, y'all. So he having our um, he said, "Who all have ears, let them hear the word of the Lord." So he gave me this song. Um, you know my name. You know my name. You know my name. By Tasha Cobbs. You know my name. Oh, how you walk with me. Oh, how you talk with me. It is amazing that I am your friend. That I am your own or something like that, y'all. And then he gave me another song. Um, Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all, uh, I got up, y'all, and I forgot to go, um, put my full arm on, so I had to do that, because I felt like something was coming towards me, y'all, but no weapon falling against me should prosper. So, uh, about the truth over you, the truth over you, the gospel peace. And y'all know with the whole armor on, we got the shield of faith. So you got to put your old armor on, y'all. Because that's what I just got up and I was like, got things again and I just started moving. And the Lord told me I need to put my full armor on, y'all. So you got to put your helmet on, salvation on, Lord. 
I put the helmet of salvation on to cover my mind and have my mind stability in Christ Jesus. I have a mind of Christ and to pull down every stronghold of the enemy, y'all. And I put my breastplate of righteousness on, Lord, to guard my heart, Lord, the everything that I face in trials, that you guard my heart and everything I go through. Lord, I put my belt of truth on, Lord, for you are the truth, the way, and the life, and there's no other way, Lord, for you the Lord, the Lord, King of King, God's a God, Lord, there's no other God. Lord, I put my shoes of gospel peace on, Lord, that I have peace wherever you see me, wherever I go, I know that you're with me, Lord, and your peace surpasses all understanding. And Lord, you said that a good man steps an order by the Lord, Lord, so I know that you're with me. Father, Lord, I put my shield of faith on, Lord. For, Father, I know that you are my Father, Lord, that you're with me. You never leave me nor forsake me, Father, that you are the true living God, Father, Lord. I put my shield, of, I mean, my sword of the Spirit. Your very words are sharper than any double-headed sword to cut the head off the enemy. In the name of Jesus. So y'all also put your full arm on. See how important that is? The Lord just told me that. Oh, stronghold. Everything we need, y'all, because we'll go through trials and tribulations. Everything got to guard your heart. People going to try to hurt you and everything. God telling me this. Y'all, you got to keep on because all this is needed along the way. Thank you, Dad. Because I forgot to put that on, y'all. Okay, so the Lord gave me this uh, uh, second song. Uh, worthy, worthy is the Lamb. You are holy, holy, you are Lord God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, you are holy, holy, you are Lord God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb, you are holy, holy. Y'all know this probably going to be a part two or whatever. You are Lord God Almighty. Worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, you are holy, holy. I'm going to put them songs down at the bottom. You are Lord God Almighty. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. You are holy. <coughs> okay, now. Thank you, Lord. Last night, I, I uh, Lord got me up. Last night, probably like 10 something. I went to sleep early, y'all, because you know the Lord be having me up during the, night, during the mornings. <coughs> So he was teaching me about faith, faith in the Lord, right? And he was saying, uh, trust in him and not man. Be careful of uh, who advise you, what you get from people. Be careful. Remember, God told us about evil counsels. You be careful what you receive from people. Trust in God, not man. Be careful of who advise you, whatever advice you get from people. Because when God switches you, taking you, guiding you onto your purpose, your will. I mean, your purpose, his will for your life, because he got me into that. Your purpose. Um. Walking into your purpose and your destiny and your blessings, you got to be obedient. And you can't be listening to people because people guide you off the, off your track. And this is Satan coming through people that throw you off on your track and your faith. Also, your faith in the Lord. Okay, so be careful. Remember, the Lord told us this. Be careful who you hear. What's your middle man? Be careful who you hear or what you look at to. Okay, y'all? So he told me this. Because you got to get to your purpose. You got to get what God got for you before you come back. Okay. Remain in constant prayer, y'all. Listen to God, not man. Remind, remain in constant prayer because let me tell you, he told me something this morning, um, earlier this morning after my dream. So he corrected our mindset. Who all have ears, let them hear because some people are religious and they're not going to believe this because it's stuff that we be taught. Okay, so uh, he said, refuse to give away to your emotions because Satan come in through your feelings and your emotions. That's why I tell you also your mindset. Put the, your helmet on, your salvation, your heart. Because, you know, guard your heart, your breastplate. Because people are going to try to come. Your emotions. Satan going to come in with their emotions and stuff. Remember the Lord told us about the uh, many color coats. Which coat you going to wear? Don't go in a, a world of emotions with that different color coat. You know, all that's what he told us. If you be paying attention to the videos, make sure you stay out of the emotions, y'all. Don't get caught up in your emotions. Because Satan going to come. Because we're going to go through grief, trials, tribulations, all stuff. And he come in on your weakness, okay? This how he put fear in you, okay? So this is why he try to knock off your faith, okay, y'all? So, 
<coughs> be careful of this because it's coming against your faith in these things with evil counsels. He sneak in and go against your faith and mess with your faith, your mindset, emotions. Because that's what he go out and mess off with your emotion. Obey God and leave all the consequences to Him. Obey Him and leave everything to Him. Don't worry about where things going to come from. Where, uh, if He send you somewhere to get something, if He said it's your house, don't worry about what come along with it. It's yours. Have completely faith. Just walk in obedience. So obey God and leave all the consequences to Him. Okay. And then you got to ask yourself, do you, do you believe in God? Who He is? And what he said he what he said he gonna do? Do you believe in these things? That's what you gotta ask yourself. Do you believe in God? Who he is? Do I believe God work? The uh the work he do, because you know the way. He he works everything out. Do you believe in his miracle signs? One do you know he could heal from the dead? Do you believe in his all his his works? Do you believe totally and believe in Jesus Christ? Do you believe in the Father? <laughs> Do you believe God loves you enough? Because this is the thing else. Satan always trying to come against you like you're not valued. Your value. You ain't good. You don't, you don't deserve this. This is why we got to understand who we are. We raw priesthood into the Lord. The Lord gave me all kinds of scriptures, y'all. He, what he's telling me now is all involving all these scriptures. So he got me everywhere. So when you hear it again, it just re remember what he told us, okay? Because I, I just got them all written down. <laughs> So know you a royal priesthood, who you who you come from, your kingdom. Everything be granted into you. Can't nobody take these from you. This is what Satan wants you to do. Go against your faith. Thank God, because uh, I'm going to go to my dream in a minute, okay? Um, do he love you enough? I believe he understands. <coughs> I believe he understands me. He know your name. God understands you. He know what you're going through, what you're facing. He know what you like, what you don't like. He do. He understands you. Um, he knows your name. Remember that song? He know you. He know your name by Tasha Cobbs. Okay. You know my name. And you gotta believe him with all your heart. He has a plan and a calling for your life. We all was born with a purpose. He just didn't put us here just to die here. Like I said, the Lord told us he ain't put us here just to go to work and die. No, he got us here with a purpose in our life, our will. You want to know what you want to fulfill your purpose and your will he have for you and enjoy what he got for you to see what your life is all about, okay? What he got you here for. And uh, and what you, your uh, purpose. Okay, now I'm going to tell you guys. Okay, hold on. <coughs> and then, you know, the Lord told me, he said, if, uh, if a person, if you don't believe, in the work of the Lord, and you don't believe in Jesus Christ in these things, we just ask you these questions, and you don't believe in it, you should not receive. Those who don't believe should not receive. If you reject the person, if you, who, uh, who you, if you reject the Lord who made things possible, then you reject, you know, you reject everything that come along with it that he had for you. So you have to believe in to order to receive, because if you don't, then you don't, you don't receive. Because if you don't believe in, that's why people don't believe in Jesus Christ. That's why people ain't they ain't, they ain't got all these works. And, you know, God told us all this, the Holy Spirit, um, all these things. First, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all this righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. People don't have all this stuff. That's why Satan wants you to hand over your right hand. Okay, so you got to, you have to believe in the Lord. It's, it's, uh, it's impossible. Uh, without faith, it's impossible to please God. It is. Because you, then you got to have faith in your works. How are you going to believe in casting out devils and uh, prophesying and, and doing what he tell you to do? If you don't have truth, you don't have faith in the Lord. You don't believe in him. So that's why you got to, in order to receive the Holy Spirit and all these things that he written us, you have to believe in it in order for the work. This is where your power is. Satan, that's why I say Satan don't have no authority over us. He can't even steal nothing from you. That was God saying, how are you going to steal something from you? And, and he own everything. The Lord own everything. We as children. All these things will be added unto us. Because this thing is, when the church, when the Lord told us back then, um, people always say, uh, go get back what the enemy stole from you. Because this I'm going to tell you about my dream in a minute. If you don't accept him as a personal uh, savior, Jesus Christ, you can't receive nothing that come along with him. Not his blessings, no nothing. And you got to understand, God allowed things to happen, trials and tribulations and stuff, crisis to happen in your life. Sometimes for people, he, you go into stuff and he'll, stir, he'll do this to stir your eyes back on him. Because he loved us enough to save you. Okay? So let me tell you about my dream. Y'all, I was in this dream. And 
I was at somebody's house. And I, I knew I came with my car, my purse, my car and my purse. And I went back, I, I was like, where's my car at? I look for my keys, because they have my keys. But th let me tell you how Satan tried to be. Couldn't find my keys to my car. I, that way somebody stole my car. Inside my car was my purse. And my uh, inside my purse was my bank card. See, Satan, Satan tried, to tell, tried to steal everything from me, y'all. So, oh, my phone, no communication. So, next thing you know, I seen these girls, whoever house I was, I was like, let me use your phones. But it, I got on one phone. I was trying to get my bank account. See if they took some of my money. So I could, first I was trying to use the phone to call whoever I needed to stop my my bank for my checks. Next thing I know, I went to couldn't use the phone, couldn't contact with that. Then I went to another girl phone. Then I was like, uh, she was like, uh, I see this and this and that. I said, give me this. I want to see what it is because I want to see myself. Then I went to another phone because she wanted to let me use the phone because she was all browsing and trying to tell me how to track it and this and this and that. Then I went to another phone, and then I was trying to uh, get into that phone. I couldn't even get into the phone. Y'all try to call. Satan try to block me, but let me tell you this. Okay, so I got up, and after the Lord gave me that dream, you know, I canceled it and everything. Then I got to, like, uh, looking on these prayers that I have on my phone that I have, like, a while back before I even got closer with the Lord, like, yeah, now. And you know how people be saying, die by fire, uh, uh, or they, they be saying, telling this, uh, in, in prayer, be like, die by fire, die by fire, scatter, and they be wishing death and stuff, uh, die by fire, death, th th uh, in a prayer, and remember God told us we shouldn't do that, because you wishing death on an enemy, because also, you understand, these still is children, but they demon possessed, witches and stuff, they using all kinds of stuff on people, so we don't post God walk in love, the vengeance is not ours, it's his, because he told me, he said, um, and then he told me, he said, he say, Satan do that in a dream. Don't have no fear. He say, Satan do that in a dream for your mindset to have you fearful. And so I went into the prayers with the prayers. And the Lord told me not to pray. Don't, don't even pray them prayers. I shouldn't even be wishing death or nothing. Die by fire, all that. You know that? Because what I got that scripture from is one a Nigerian man. That's why I say a lot of people ain't going to like this. Because gonna, it's going to go against their religion. So, but God opened up my eyes because he gave me scriptures on this. So the Lord told me, he say, Satan did that dream to throw me off. He said, because he messed up your faith. God told me, he said, how he can steal something that already, I'm in control of that if he can take it from you or not. He said, the Lord said, he can't steal nothing from you. I own everything. He said, who is, who is your father? He threatened you in these dreams, but he can't do nothing to you. Because he'll mess with your faith in your dream. So, I got up, going into this, die by fire, messing up my own self again through the prayer, messing, blocking my blessing. I'm becoming sinful. Wishing death on somebody in the dream, I mean, in the prayer, which is hindering me. Listening to these prayers off of people telling me to do this, blocking you from your, blocking you from your purpose. So now what God already had promised you, Satan come and trick you in your mindset. Have you thinking that you got to fight for this, using words out of this, like this, which block you from getting your blessing. Or stopping the Lord from even taking it from you because you're sinful. And then the Satan going to come and take you from you anyway because you start being in the act of sin. And God don't bless sin. You block your blessing. So the Lord say, how are you going to steal something that already owned to you? He said, my, he said, am I rich? He said, your father is rich. And I said, yes, you are, father. You rich. He can't take nothing from me. The Lord, like, I gave you all these things. He can't take nothing from you. I don't gave to you. But he told me, he said, you going into this prayer thing. Now, it, that let you have a lack of faith, faith in me. You had Satan had mind control over you. I had to rebuke. I had to rebuke and ask the Lord to forgive me from this because I didn't know. Even though he tell us stuff, but still there's many ways that we still tapping into something. Because I never, I, it's been a while since I haven't did them prayers like that. But last night, but God does things for a reason so we can correct us. Then I went to that prayer because then I was like, I'm going to post this online. And the Lord told me, no, not to. And this one he told me. He said, that's why people be holding their own blessing. You know how the Lord told us, he said, people be praying about wishing death on people. And next thing you know, um, God is like witchcraft and stuff like that. God don't wish death on people because the vengeance is his, not from ours, so that we'll be in a sinful act. So in prayers, we're doing this. Scatter by fire. Lord, forgive me from saying this, Lord, because you know, I, I ain't, you know, I'm just doing a demonstration. So scatter by fire, die by fire, this and this. We, you know how they be doing it? The Nigerian people and all that. 
They ain't even just Nigerian people because, you know, um, all kind of races do it. But this was, I got it from that. Bring me back to my ancestors, how they was raised and stuff. And the Lord told me to get from this. He said, you wishing death on your brother because he gave me scriptures. Hinder me for my blessings. Then you're wondering why Satan really coming against you and taking stuff because you have a lack of faith. And then on top of you having a lack of faith, knowing who your father is and all these things given to you because Satan can't take nothing from you. Everything belongs to me. And what I have for you, I know your name. I know everything about you and everything that I have for you and your purpose and your will for your life. That's my will. Because he also gave me uh, that scripture. Our Father in heaven, uh, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your will, his will for our life will be done on earth as it is in heaven. He know us. So it's going to be done. Um, uh, our Father, you know... Um, our will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts and we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thou is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. In Jesus' name, amen. We have to forgive our, our, debt, our uh, be, uh, debtors and forgive those who uh, forgive. You know, you got to forgive each other. Forgive that person in order to be, to be forgiven. So why are he telling us to do this? So he told me that, that stuff will hinder people. That end you from your blessings. So you'll be sinful now. You'll become a sinner. And you're knocking yourself off. And you're a sinner. So he got me into that, y'all. So let us go. How about I'm explaining this to y'all, guys? Because I'm trying to remember everything he told me to. And we're going to go through some scriptures. Okay, he gave me the dream. The word God gave me. Let's go to Luke 10, 11. Because he had to correct me on some things. Luke 10. <coughs> Luke 10, 11. Luke 10. Oh, he gave me Luke 10 and 11, y'all. Y'all got to excuse me. Thank you, Dad. Okay, let's go to t Luke 10. After these things, the Lord appointed 70 others uh, also and sent them two by two before his face and to every city and place where he himself was, was about to go out. Then he said to them, The harvest truly is great, but the labors are few. few. Therefore pray the Lord pray the, the Lord of the harvest to send our labors into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I send you out as lambs among wolves. Carry neither money, bags, a snack, a, a sack, nor sandals, or greet one another along the road. The Lord told me, he said, now I told you not to carry these things. The things Satan was stealing from me in a dream. Told me not to carry that because he'll provide everything for me too. Satan can't take nothing from me. God able to provide. He told us already, don't take these things. But whatever the house you enter first, peace to the Lord, to the to this house. And if a son of peace there, your peace will rest on it. If not, it will return unto you. And remain in the same house, eating and drinking such things as they give, for the labor is worthy of the wages. Do not go from the house to house. Whatever city you enter, that they receive, that they receive you, eat such things as set uh, as are set before you, and heal the sick there, and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near you. See the kingdom of God, but look at this. You go your works. He said it telling us you have to believe in him. But whatever city you enter, and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, The very dust of the city which cleans to us, we wipe off against you. Nevertheless, know this, that the kingdom of God has come near you. But I say to you that it will be more tolerable, uh, tolerable in the day of the Sodom than it is than for the city. <laughs> <clears throat> for the city because also God told me this he said many people not going they, they not going to want to hear this word because all this stuff they scared about they into this prayer thing he said but still I have to do what he tell me to do and that's the thing that's to tell the truth and he said if they don't receive you or they don't receive me because I'm the one that sent you Jesus Christ you know, gave us the word he said so they reject you they reject me same thing he just told us earlier okay y'all Okay, then the 70 returned uh, with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. Remember and you know, remember the Lord said, you say don't have no power over us. But you have to have faith. So he's giving me this over again. And then what the Lord said, I know your, that song, Tasha Khan, I know your name. Because we walk with the Father, Jesus Christ. 
So it said, even that's why he said Satan demons even know your name. Why do you think you're a target? They know you're a target. Why they a target? Why he a, why Satan attack me in my sleep with this, trying to put fear in me? Cause he know he know my name. He know who I am. And he who said to you, I saw Satan falling like a, look at this. This is what the Lord told me. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and all over the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. So he told me, he said, you got authority over him. So he ain't going to hurt you. He can't do nothing to you. He can't even steal from you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this. That the spirit are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. What do you say? I we uh, what that song? I know your name. Your name written in heaven. That's why you be joyful in this. I know who I am. I know my father. He know my name. It's written in heaven. Satan can't do nothing. Y'all, the Lord just steady speaking. This is what I'm talking about. He say he can't steal nothing from you. The Lord know he already have a purpose for you. He created us. The Lord do. Satan know your name too, but he ain't got no power. <laughs> That's why we be joyful and have faith. Like, I know Satan, you can't do nothing for me. I know who I am. I know my, the Lord know my name. I know where I come from. I know who I'm written up. That's my dad. <laughs> my name is in heaven, written down already. Your name are written in heaven. That's what the Lord said in here. Okay, now he got me to Revelation 12. Because he's steady confirming in me. Letting us know. Satan don't have no power over us. It's just this was taught, taught. We was taught this stuff in churches. Tradition. Documents. Revelation 12. This is why God said we shouldn't worry. Okay, now let's go to Revelation 12. Now a great sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun and with the moon under her feet. And on her head of a, a head a garland of twelve stars. Then being with child, she cried out in labor and in pains. And pains to give birth. And another sign appeared in heaven. Behold, a great fiery dragon having heads, having seven heads and ten horns.